Hello, colleagues and friends across the University of Michigan community. It's finally summer, a season of relaxation, vacation, and personal renewal. Yet research never rests. It is a constant process of discovery and inspiration, insight and imagination, innovation and invention. Even during these summer months, our research continues to have a profound impact on our community, our state, and our nation. To give just a couple of examples, UM is one of the largest employers in Michigan. And this past fiscal year, our research enterprise contributed $126 million to the state's economy directly through the purchase of goods and services. In fact, over the past five years, we've contributed more than half a billion dollars to Michigan-based companies supplying goods and services in support of our research projects. That's just the beginning. Just a few weeks ago, we announced that we are investing 55 million to launch a multidisciplinary quantum research institute, which will expand our work in this burgeoning field, as well as better prepare students for leading roles in the future quantum workforce. We also engage with state, private sector, and educational partners in the Semiconductor Talent Action Team, a new effort to make Michigan a leader in the semiconductor industry. Hand in hand with that effort, we have joined a partnership to establish a semiconductor talent and automotive initiative in Michigan, which will focus on accelerating research in electric and autonomous vehicles, as well as talent acquisition, training, and development. Thanks to the state of Michigan, we will be building a $130 million electric vehicle center, which will be focused on technology and workforce development and solidifying our state and our nation as a leader in the industry. And we will be using a nearly $10 million federal grant to assist in efforts to deploy cellular to everything technology, a technology that will enable a new generation of cars to exchange safety enhancing data with the world around them. I'm especially excited about the possibilities of UM's Innovation Partnerships Office. Innovation Partnerships was established to serve as the primary gateway for researchers seeking to increase the impact of their work through commercialization. So far this fiscal year, the office has supported the launch of 21 startup companies and has received more than 550 new invention discoveries from UM faculty, which places us among the top universities in the nation. And last year, our startups generated more than three quarters of a billion dollars in investment activity. The office is led by Kelly Sexton, Associate Vice President for Research and Innovation Partnerships, who is this month's Portrait of a Wolverine. But rather than me talking about her, it's better for her to tell you a bit more about herself, what inspires and excites her about the office, and what possibilities she sees ahead. Hello, I'm Kelly Sexton, and I'm the Associate Vice President for Research and Innovation Partnerships. Every day, scientists, engineers, and scholars at the University of Michigan are hard at work tackling the biggest challenges facing our world. This community of researchers is continually pushing the frontiers of knowledge and creating new research discoveries in the process. Innovation Partnerships is a part of the Office of the Vice President for Research, and we are tasked with translating these incredible new technologies into real-world applications for the public good. We do this by pairing researchers with business experts and serial entrepreneurs to help them go from an invention to a commercialized product. One of the important ways that new technologies are brought to the marketplace is through the creation of new startup companies. These companies work to bring new products to the market, creating new jobs in the industry as of the future right here in the state of Michigan. Collectively, this work is called University Tech Transfer, 
and I've been in this field for 17 years. Before this, I was a scientist and a researcher. I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Georgia and received my PhD from the University of California, San Diego. I was then a postdoctoral fellow at Stanford University studying cancer cell biology. Throughout my career, I've been driven by a belief that public investments in education and in research are vital to the future of our society. I believe in the transformative power of research to create new cures and treatments for human disease and to tackle the very biggest problems facing our planet. And this is why I love doing this work at the University of Michigan. I'd like to leave you with two promising technologies that I'm really excited about. The first is being developed by College of Engineering faculty member Zeti and me, and it's called artificial photosynthesis. It's essentially a way to take sunlight and water and convert it into clean and renewable energy. This technology could prove to be a real game changer in our efforts to achieve a cleaner and more sustainable future. Another groundbreaking technology that's poised for tremendous impact is called histotripsy. Histotripsy was created by University of Michigan researchers in medicine and engineering as a way to destroy diseased tissue using focused sound energy. Today, this histotripsy technology is being brought to the clinic by a startup company called Histosonics. Histosonics is supporting human clinical trials to test histotripsy as a way to treat solid liver tumors in a non-invasive manner and with minimal recovery time. This exciting experimental technology holds tremendous potential to improve the way we treat cancer and other diseases. There is simply no university with the breadth of research and excellence to match that of the University of Michigan, and therefore no university is better positioned to improve our world through research and innovation. Let me leave you with one final thought. We've discussed a lot of numbers, but the true value of our R&D goes far beyond that. It's about more than creating new knowledge or developing new products, important as they are. It's about opening opportunities, lifting communities, and transforming lives. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again in July. Thank you.